Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the first off-season baseball video on one of my favorite pitchers in the game, Eduardo Rodriguez, who I still think has a lot to offer, and we still haven't seen his best days going to the Detroit Tigers and breaking my heart for five years, $77 million. My dad from business trips went to Boston a lot. I got Boston gear early in my life. So it was my second team always. That's why uh, Julio Lugo, um, it, that was really sad and uh, terrible to see that he passed at such a young age. And shout out to um, him for giving us those seven and thanks to him and uh, prayers to his family as they get through this difficult time. But Eduardo Rodriguez, five years, 77 million, mm -hmm. is a guy that is really going to help solidify that Detroit Tigers rotation. He has a career 4.16 ERA. He would have a lower one if he didn't, of course, go out, have COVID, have the heart condition due to it, and have to work his way back from that. He really did have some very nice stretches where he looked like a front two, uh, probably more of a two starter, but a guy that can be a very good, very capable two starter. He has a 15.4 career war, 64 wins, 39 losses, and has 892 strikeouts in 856.2 innings <clears throat> and a 1.313 whip in that span. So last season he had 185 strikeouts. This season they have him projected, I disagree, uh, at a 4.37. I think he's going to have a lower ERA than that. I honestly think the highest I had this year, my prediction on Detroit, will be a 4 um, 11 and 7 record might be spot on with how Detroit, depending who they continue to add in the offseason. But if he has that record, he's 29 years old. Eduardo Rodriguez, to me, is one of the guys that we haven't seen his best yet. He's one of the guys you get before, kind of like the Giant got Kevin Gaussman, who people always talked about his stuff, couldn't figure it out, seems to be doing, obviously. So there or how, to a bigger magnitude, the Phillies got Zach Wheeler wasn't the full guy that was great. Or even now, the Angels, when I do a video on that, I'll talk about that one. Syndergaard hasn't hit his biggest strides yet of what he's going to be able to do. He hasn't. You haven't seen the best Syndergaard if he can stay healthy for the Angels. You're probably going to get to see the Syndergaard. He's probably the Zach Wheeler comparable. But Eduardo Rodriguez still has his best ahead of him, in my opinion. And he's a guy that at very least is a top-notch third starter, but has the potential still, still only at 29 years old, um, to be able to become a very good two-starter out there in Detroit, getting a change of scenery. It's sad to see him leave Boston. He's a very good pitcher, a very nice guy to have around from everything I read about him through The Athletic and all the other great um, sites, Score, ESPN, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm going to miss watching him um, pretty much each day as I watch my two teams, the Phillies and Boston play, but, well, each day he pitches, I should say, but I wish him well in Detroit. Congratulations to Detroit Tigers fans for getting at Rodriguez. Rodriguez. He's going to be a very good key addition to your team and a guy you're going to have for five years to his age, about 34 into 35 season, and that's also a very nice commodity to still have at that point that probably has a couple years left on him and you might be able to just keep doing the one year or sign him to a two-year deal so he might become an even longer piece than just five years for you if he does what I feel like he's going to do and we see the best is still ahead for him and I think that's exactly what we're going to see. Thank you for watching this video, the first off-season baseball video. Eduardo Rodriguez going to the Detroit Tigers. Congratulations, Eduardo Rodriguez. Great contract for you. Peace out, everybody.